Today, let's go through the different ways that you can use Protolist to take notes. We'll go all the way from just typing text into a page to building a connected system of notes. And so the first and easiest way to take notes on Protolist is to just type your notes into a page. So to add a new page, we press this add new page button at the top of the left hand sidebar. And then we're going to choose text editor from the different page types. And you'll be given a text section indicated by the type here written in the page. And you can add in your notes into the page just as you would in any other kind of text based note taking platform. And so today I'm going to be doing a little bit of research on emperor penguins. So I'm going to give it a title, Emperor Penguins. And then I'm going to be, you know, cross-referencing another tab while I take some notes. Okay, so I've added in some notes from that source that I was looking at about the Emperor Penguins. So you've seen that you can copy paste text. You can also add in your own text as you're going. The other thing that you can do is if you use the screenshot tool, you can grab screenshots and paste them into your page like so. And then you can adjust the size like this and you can carry on writing underneath. In text editor pages, you can also add different sections into your page through the add section menu. So if we were to add an image, so from this article, I could copy the image address and then insert from URL in this section, paste it and it will add my image in there. Um, so this image has been added as a dedicated section. So if I wanted to reorganize it, I can use this six dot button, which will give me a kind of drag and drop interface to move it around in my page. So I could have that at the top of the page there. So if I was going to be collecting more information from other sources in the same notes page, I might give this a title, WWF penguins info, can't type, and then use this hyperlink to copy paste the link in there. If I was done with taking my notes and wanted to get this downloaded, I can go to this page options menu, this three dot button in the top right, and I can download this as a PDF or a document. And then to take your note taking to the next level, we're going to distill the most interesting and important bits of information in this notes page. And even though the information that we have gathered here is a bit of a summary of sorts, on Protolist, rather than just highlighting bits of text in the page, we actually capture that text as an atom because these highlights are most useful to us when they are liberated from the page so that we can access them from anywhere else within our workspace and use them as building blocks with other highlights to create. So let's capture some atoms from this page. And to capture atoms, you just highlight the text and then click this capture atom button. So I've captured some atoms and I'm going to show you that knowledge layer that we have in the workspace in action. So if I go to all pages at the top of the left hand sidebar, I'll be presented with a list of all the pages in my workspace. And at the moment, this workspace is pretty small, but as it gets bigger and bigger, there will be more and more pages listed here. And down the right side, there's also all of those atoms that I just captured as rather than having to open up notes pages and browse through them in search of a particular highlight, you can search for that highlight directly because you'll have a list of all the highlights you've captured as atoms from anywhere in your workspace that you can go to and search through. So as you add more notes and capture more atoms in your workspace, you're building a catalog of highlights. The next way that you can take notes and capture ideas within Protolist is by importing an article into your workspace and then capturing atoms from it directly. So we're going to add a new page using that add page button at the top of the sidebar. And then we're going to choose this web page option. And then I'm going to grab the URL from another web page on penguins and paste it here. And so Protolist will import the web page content into your workspace. And so here it is. Here's all the text from that web page imported into my workspace. So now rather than jumping back and forth between the tabs and copy pasting, I can go through and as I come across the interesting nuggets of information, just highlight them and hit capture atom. And that will save that bit of information as an atom within my workspace. You can also use atoms to add annotations. So as you're capturing an atom, when the atom bar appears, this is the atom box, which has pulled in the text that you've highlighted as the atom you can write in this box. So you could edit this text to kind of capture the idea in a different way, um, or you could add your own thoughts as you're going. 
Here is where you can also do things like add tags to your atoms so that you start to connect related highlights from lots of different sources together around particular topics or themes within your workspace. And so if we jump back to the all pages section, you'll see that there are now some more atoms. So all of those atoms that I'm pulling from those different articles are all starting to list here. And whenever you come across an atom anywhere in your workspace, you can always jump back to the original source by using the source tag, which will be the first tag that sits underneath the text of the atom. And when you hover over it, it's indicated that it's the source tag. And if you click it, it will open up the original source of your atom so you can gather further context and never lose where that atom originally came from. The source page will often open in split screen so that you don't lose where you are within your workspace. And to close split screen, you can use this cross in the top right of either side of the screen. We can also combine notes and sources by having a notes page and a selection of sources linked to that notes page. Let me show you how that's done. So if we add a new page, and we call it notes, just so that we don't get confused with all of these Emperor Penguin pages around the place. So if I want this to be a top level summary of notes that I'm taking from several different sources, I can then add the pages as sub pages of this page. And a sub page is a page that sits underneath another page. It's similar to nested pages if you've come across that. And so to add a sub page, I need to go to the pages tab in the properties menu. And then I'll use this add page plus button at the top of the tab and choose a page type. So all of the sources I'm using are websites. So I'm going to choose website and then I'm going to copy paste the URLs in and select import. And I'm actually going to jump back into the notes while that imports, swap to pages, add another page. So I've imported three different websites into the workspace as sub pages of this notes page. So if I jump to the pages tab, you'll see the list of them there. And so just like before, we can go through and capture atoms from each of those sources. And the atoms of a sub page will display as atoms of the parent page. So any atoms that I capture in these sub pages will list in this atoms tab here for this notes page. So if I open one of these up and just grab a few atoms, just to show you. So we're in this sub page and the properties menu is open. So you can see that the atoms are starting to list within the atoms tab for this page. So that's another way that you can view the atoms that you've captured within a page. You can open up this properties menu, navigate to the atoms tab, and you'll get a list of all the atoms you've captured from a particular page. If we jump back to the notes table, you will see that the atoms from the sub page that we just captured are displaying in the list of atoms for this current page. And this icon, this downward right arrow indicates that the atoms are from this page, which is a sub page of your current page. This would be the case for any of the other atoms that we capture in the other sub pages. So let me grab a few from the other sub pages. So I've grabbed a few atoms from each of these sources that we have added as sub pages to this notes page. And you can see that the atoms are grouped by the page which they have been captured from. And so this works quite nicely if you want to collect a load of information from several different sources in one place. And if you wanted to use these atoms to create a written piece, you can add them into the notes page by using this site in page button, which comes up as you hover over a particular atom. And this will add the atom text into the page. It will create a citation, which will link you to the original source. And it will also add in a references section at the bottom, which will have the title of the source page for any of the atoms that you add into this notes page. And the other way that you can add atoms into the page is drag and drop. So we set this up knowing that we had a few different sources that we were gonna to want to capture atoms from and then use in this notes page. But Earlier on, we also took some notes in some other pages, which are now separate from this notes page. And so we can add the atoms from those earlier notes pages by linking the pages and importing the atoms. And so we can do this in the atoms tab. At the top, there is a add atoms button. If you click this, you can add a new atom in manually, or you can import atoms from a page. And this does the linking and importing in one go. 
So if we click that, we're then prompted to choose from the pages in our workspace. Um, we know that it's this page as well as this other page. And you can see that now we've imported the atoms. The atoms are appearing in this list and we've got the page title here and the corresponding atoms from that page, as well as this upward left pointing arrow, which represents that this is a linked page and the atoms have been imported from this page. And so that's how you can access atoms from different pages in your workspace. And one final thing to mention, which might help speed up your note-taking, is that you can drag and drop text straight into a notes page, automatically creating an atom and getting that text straight into your notes page. So if we add one final page as a source, import the info from the web page, and then if we use split screen to have this information page open alongside a notes page, we can drag and drop text from the source straight into the notes. So if you control click a page, it will open in split screen. Let's close that properties bar. And so as you come across the info that you want to add into your notes, you highlight it and then don't hit capture atom, click anywhere within the highlight and you can drag and drop the text straight into your notes page. And this will automatically create an atom and add it into this page with a citation, add it into the links. And if we open up this properties bar in that info source page, you will see that an atom has been created. So that's a streamlined way to lift information out of your sources and add it into a notes page. And by creating an atom, rather than just adding that text into the notes page, we've made that nugget of information accessible from that catalog of highlights so you can use it anywhere else at any point in the future within your workspace. And so that's a bit of an overview on the different ways that you can take notes in Protolist.